Honestly, I'm trying to stay focused You must think I've got to be joking when I say I don't think I can wait I just need it out Let it swing my way I just need some deep Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel here at JShy Beauty. If you're new, welcome, but if you've been here before, what's up? So today I am doing a look on this, this face right here. Actually not this face, these eyes right here. Oh. Yeah, um, I had some trouble, but we finished it. <laughs> If you guys want to know how I achieved this look, just keep watching. Okay, first I'm going to start with priming my eye. Of course, I'm going to be using my Milani. This is the eyeshadow primer. It's lightweight, invisible finish. Works on all skin tones. This has been my go-to lately. Um, I don't remember how much it cost. I think it was under $10, so affordable. <laughs> oh, and as you can see, I already did my brows and my foundation off camera because we're just going to jump right into this eyeshadow tutorial so i'm just going to put some eyes Ta -da. <laughs> just want to put it all on there evenly And I'm kind of like pressing or tapping it in. Okay, so after that's done, I want to apply a base color. So we're going to be using everything from the Morphe times James Charles palette. Yes. I was so excited when I bought this. Um, I probably only used it three times now and your girl is loving it <laughs> so I know I'm late with the video I probably should have did this when it first came out because I've had it since it first came out but this is how it looks it is beautiful and you got so many shades to choose from so many so as my base, I'm going to use hmm, probably this one. And as y'all know, if you watch my videos, all my brushes are pretty basic. I got them on Amazon or for a Christmas present. Oh, this one's an e.l.f. brush. This is the e.l.f. eyeshadow C brush. But we're just going to use this as a base brush. Okay, I'm trying something different. I have another, I have my phone right here. So if you see me looking right here, this is my phone. And I'm trying to see if I'm putting this on right. Should I do one eye and then like come back with the other one done? Or should I just do them both on camera? Probably just do one eye to keep the video short, y'all. No, we need to do both eyes. So I'm just tapping this on to my eye. So I don't know if my viewers have ever done a YouTube video, but this shit's hard. Like, it ain't easy. Like filming, trying to get the camera right, especially like if you're setting it up by yourself. Like, it takes me a million tries to make sure that I am in focus. Hopefully I am in, 
and focus. It takes me a million tries to do this. Like, just to make sure everything's semi-right. Yeah. And then you got editing, like, gosh. I don't know what to do, I don't know what to put, I don't know what's funny, I don't, I don't know what you guys want to watch, because, like, it's a million, like, a million makeup tutorials out there. Like, how do I stand out? How do I be different? I don't really know. But I'm just doing what I like to do. Now, I'm not a makeup artist. I just do this for fun. But like James Charles says, Unleash your inner artist. So yeah, speaking of James Charles, this is a picture of a makeup look that he did. And it is to die for. Um, so with his, well, bitch, what? What? So using his palette, I'm going to try to recreate this makeup look that he did with his palette. Oh yeah, let's, let's do this. I think I'm going to start with the red first. I'm going to use this little brush. This is the Urban Decay brush that came with my, um, Alice Through the Looking Glass palette. I'm going to use the little small end right here and dip into the red I'll just pop it up somewhere so you can see which red it's only one red guys but yeah okay dip it into the red here we go Ooh. That is looking nice, if I do say so myself, so far. What I'm doing is I am swiping a couple times to get the area that I want, and then I'm going back in with more eyeshadow to, like, tap it in to get more pigment. Okay, next I'm gonna go in with the orange. So I'm just gonna clean my brush on my hand. Y'all, this is my first time trying anything like this, so don't be too harsh. I don't know how this is gonna look at the end. how this orange is picking up maybe it's me I don't know but it seems a little patchy I'm gonna try one more thing for this orange I like using these probably a lot of people say don't use them but why not like fix up a lot of the product and it's so good for like bringing out that pigmentation in the color Part. So 
So now we are taking the yellow in the palette and bringing it over. Okay, yellow is pigmented. I see you. Okay, I really don't know what's going on with my colors tonight, but let's cut this crease. Maybe that'll do some justice. I'm going to be cutting my crease with this ColourPop. This is the Dark 46. I'm going to be using this e.l.f. Smug, smudge brush to cut my crease. <laughs> and I have to go much higher when I cut my crease because I have hooded eyes. And if I cut my crease like real low, you'll barely be able to see it. Crazy, right? Okay, while that's still tacky, we're going to go over it with this color. And just press it in there. So I didn't go all the way to the red, but I did go to the orange. So let's fill that orange back in where it needs to. I don't know if you guys can see this, but where I didn't put any concealer, but I put the primer here, it's not as pigmented, but you can see on this orange right here where the concealer is, it's like much more pigmented. What's going on here? I was having so much trouble with that yellow, but now I just want to pop. What the hell? Now I'm just going to go back in with my little applicator and go over those colors. Just press it in. Now I'm going to take a much smaller brush. This is an e.l.f. brush. I don't know what it is. All the letter has rubbed off. But I'm going to dip into the white now and go into that inner part. Okay, I'm gonna be a thousand percent honest with y'all. I don't really know if I like the way that this is turning out. I really want to stop <laughs> because it's so patchy. Like, what the f is going on here? I don't know, but I'm just gonna keep going. Hopefully, something good will come out of this. So he has purple on the outside, blue, green white okay so let's get this purple I'm just gonna do the same thing that I did for the red for the purple
Okay, these colors are picking up way more better. Way more better. Just better than the other side. Now let's go on with the green. I'm gonna use, hmm. I think I'm gonna use that lime green. Yeah, let's do that. I'm gonna add a hand space. Okay, now let's cut the crease. I honestly don't know what the f is going on. This was not what I intended. Let's continue, shall we? So, I'm going to use my next matte liquid liner to um, to do my liner. Now I'm going to be taking some of my white ColourPop eyeliner and putting that underneath my eye so we can make that eyeshadow that's going to be underneath pop. Okay guys, this is the finished look. Overall, I do like it, but I kind of stepped outside of my comfort zone and tried something a little different. Um, I might try something more simpler with this palette, but I feel like it had some patchy areas, um, especially with the concealer. I know like he says use the primer with it, but like how are you supposed to cut your crease with the primer, you know? I don't know. Let me know what you guys think about it. What could I have done differently? Um, have you used it? Do you like it? You know, let me know down below. Uh, thank you for tuning into my channel. I'm so happy that I hit 100 subscribers. I want to thank each and every one of you for watching me, tuning in. Um, tell your friends. <laughs> have them subscribe too so we can hit 200. I might have a 200 party or something. <laughs> Not with the uh, patchy eyes like this. I'm so sorry y'all. Well thank you for tuning into my channel here at JShot Beauty and I look forward to seeing you guys at the next video. <laughs> Bye. I wanted to do a rainbow eye because I got this shirt. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it says love is love and I love it. And I just wanted to do a video on it. I mean, not on my shirt, but a rainbow eye with my shirt. That's why I got them together. 
But this video really didn't go as planned, but just stay tuned. <laughs>